Eddie Hearn says that Luis King Kong Ortiz can get Anthony Joshua next after Andy Ruiz Jr. if he wants. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Now, Eddie Hearn did an interview with Boxing Social, and he says that Luis Ortiz was Joshua's first choice. He also said that Rob McCracken says, and I quote, if you want him, Luis Ortiz, to f if you want Joshua to face Luis Ortiz and you're comfortable with three weeks of South Park sparring, we'll do it. We made them an offer of six million. They didn't do it. We made him another offer of seven million. That was probably eight times what he got for the Wilder fight. He still turned it down. It shows you everything you need to know. Who is turning it down? Is it Luis Ortiz? Is it his manager? Is it his advisor? Is it his promoter? Is it the network? People are starving these fighters opportunities to change their lives, and it's so sad. Listen, if Luis Ortiz wants next for Joshua, he can have it next. These fighters are doing what they're told to do. Now, Eddie Hearn is fast talking. Like He, he says these little things, and he tries to evoke emotion from the fan like oh we just offered him six seven million dollars and somebody's telling him to turn it down you know to create a frenzy and that might work in the uk but it's a little bit different in america right the bottom line is luis ortiz is not fighting joshua next and i told you my pact on the channel is to spend more time talking about that in which is real as opposed to things that didn't happen things that didn't manifest fantasy fights at the moment you know especially when they have fights coming up like people want to talk about Tyson Fury and Dillian White because the WBC ordered it but guess what the WBC ordered Luis King Kong Ortiz versus Dillian White and that was like over a year ago and that fight still hasn't happened so my duty on my channel I'm going to try my best to make sure boxing is covered with things that are actually happening more so than you know these little fantasy things where there's no real there's no real legs behind it you know there's no footprints in the in the sand that lead us to the waves to the ocean so i'm not gonna even make this video too long if luis ortiz if first of all joshua got to get past andy ruiz but if andy ruiz you know loses to joshua then let's just see it like i keep saying lsi let's see it let's see joshua give luis king kong ortiz a full training camp you know, might as well, if you got money like that, to offer him seven, eight million dollars, offer him that, you know, since he's already got a taste of, you know, how much you were willing to offer him, you know, offer him something that's financially lucrative and um, satisfies both parties. And let's see it. That's it. You know, but I think Andy Ruiz could be a tricky fight for for Anthony Joshua. And like I said, Eddie Hearn is trying to play on the emotions, in my opinion, of the boxing fans, you know, and get people up in arms. I'm not even... The bottom line is Joshua is not fighting Luis Ortiz, so I'm off that. If it can happen after Ruiz, because Wilder said he has his plate full, then let's see it. But we're also hearing stuff from PBC that suggests that if Wilder gets past Dominic Brazil, they may try to do a Luis Ortiz Wilder part two. So this could be another reason why Eddie Hearn is saying that, because we've already heard the rumblings that they have plans for Luis Ortiz. So again, I'm not going to keep this video too long. If the fight can be made, Luis Ortiz has been a factor and a boogeyman in the division for some time. Joshua, at one point, that was his mandatory. He had two plus years to fight Luis Ortiz. And guess what? He still hadn't. Before Gerald Miller was even given the opportunity to fail a drug test, Luis Ortiz could have been the man. But they chose not to fight him in America, even though he has had stronger fights and builds in america he was on the wilder fury undercard luis ortiz was also on the mikey garcia robert easter both at the staples center and those were big fights you know basically unifications lineal champ versus wbc champ and then mikey garcia versus robert easter which was a unification both in los angeles a fight capital for you know american boxing and 
Joshua had called out Luis Ortiz in in like one interview, which is on DAZN's YouTube account. And still, yet and still, it was announced that Joshua was fighting Gerald Big Baby Miller. So it's at the point where just show me, you know, if he gets past Andy Ruiz, which is not a foregone conclusion, but if he gets past him and he looks good or whatever, Wilder said he has his plate full. Show me that you'll make the Luis Ortiz fight. You know, we're, we're getting to a spot in a space in boxing where there's a lot of clout chasing going on. A lot of people just talking about fights that aren't manifesting. A lot of promoters talking about fight. And that seems to be we're going to change the tide, at least on my channel. I can't control everything that happens on boxing, but I know new media, Eagles Army, we're getting bigger and bigger and stronger. And, you know, more people are tuning in. And I appreciate you guys for that. But I want to get back to boxing where we we focus on what's in front of us. And if these promoters are putting on fight cards that no one's really interested in and people would rather talk about these quote unquote fantasy fights that aren't being made, then that's an indication of what the promoter or the network or whatever needs to do because the fights you're putting on are being overshadowed by the fights you're not putting on. So we're going to get back to the basics once again. AJ versus Luis Ortiz. If Anthony Joshua gets past Andy Ruiz, retains his titles, let's just see an offer get made and let's see the promoter and the A side or whatever, AJ, reach out to Luis Ortiz and facilitate a deal that works for both parties and get the fight across the line. But once again, what I'm noticing the pattern is we're hearing more about shoulda, coulda, woulda, and what could have been, you know. Dillian White wanted too much money. Luis Ortiz wanted too much money. His team passed up six, seven. It's the promoter's job to get the fight across the line. If the fighters keep saying that they, they'll fight anybody and I'm a fighter and this is what I'm about, then, you know, the promoter needs to make it so the fight gets pushed over the edge. You know, for some reason, it seems like Al Heyman is getting some of these fights, like Tony Harrison versus Jermail Charlo. Tony Harrison has been on record saying he's the champion now, WBC champion. He wished the fight happened in Detroit. But for whatever reason, it didn't happen in Detroit. But we're still getting the fight. Al Heyman and the powers that be still got the fight over the line, even though Tony Harrison has openly said and stated that he wanted this fight to be in Detroit because he's the champion now and he feels he beat Jermail Charlo. But we're still not getting any problem you know it looks like errol spence and sean porter are, are set to go for unification which should be announced in the near future so that's what boxing you know that's what it's about getting the fights over the line but i'm noticing a lot of people keep talking about the fights that they want but they're not getting over the line you know and you can't just blame al Heyman, for example because there's still in-house fights with these other promoters that still aren't getting over the line, like Teofimo Lopez versus Lomachenko. That's an all-top rank in-house fight. So you can't blame Al Heyman for that fight not coming into fruition, even though fans want to see, or even on DAZN. How come Jermail Char or excuse me, uh, Demetrius Andrade is not fighting Gal Gennady Golovkin next? He's fighting Steve Rolls, and Andrade's fighting Seleski. That's an in-house fight, has nothing to do with it. Al Heyman. How come that didn't get over the line? You know, fans would love that. You know, how come AJ and Dillian White were allegedly in negotiations for April 13th, but they couldn't agree to the finances and that didn't get over the line. So then allegedly they went over to Gerald Miller, which I believe was always what they were trying to do. You know, so it's easy to point the finger at another man, but these promoters and advisors and networks and stuff, they're going to have to conspire to get the fights over the line. So once again, AJ versus Luis Ortiz, a very good fight. And it's just ironic that me on my channel, I've always talked about AJ fighting Luis Ortiz and gave you guys both sides anytime they mention each other, which AJ didn't really even mention Luis Ortiz often. But when he did, I made a video about it. Luis Ortiz has had a lot to say about AJ. I made videos about that. People made built in excuses why Luis Ortiz doesn't deserve it. They cited his age. They said he's not really the boogeyman. They said, you know, he lost to Wilder, yada, yada, yada. Now, all of a sudden, you have this um, group of people, these man fans, that all of a sudden, when the fight didn't happen, late notice, because Gerald Miller failed the drug test, 
now they're acting as if they were the ones on board and wanted to see AJ versus Luis Ortiz when in fact a lot of them were making excuses so again I'm going to end this video on this note with something to think about the promoters and the camps got to they're responsible a sides and all that if you have so much power and pull you got to get the fight over the line so if Joshua once again gets past Andy Ruiz and Eddie Hearn is on record saying he can get next then let's see it let's see you finalize the deal if not then we don't really have much to talk about because we've been here before literally dillian white was brought up in regards to facing the videos on youtube it was town biz and um cali enigma they did a video an interview with eddie hearn and cali enigma said that to eddie hearn directly in the interview your guy won't fight he said luis ortiz can't get fights because he's a boogeyman even including your guy dillian white eddie hearn looked him in the eyes it's all on camera and said dillian white dillian white will fight luis ortiz a couple weeks later dillian white versus oscar revis was announced so i have to believe that eddie hearn because fights don't just happen overnight so i have to believe that eddie hearn knew that dillian white wasn't going to fight luis ortiz even though the wbc ordered this a long time ago right and he still put that out there that his fighter dillian white would fight luis ortiz but the fight didn't happen so it's not even just a joshua thing eddie hearn is gonna have to show that one of his guys dillian white if he gets past oscar Rivas or anthony joshua if he gets past andy ruiz is actually willing to fight luis ortiz and put him in there with him wilder let him do whatever he's doing and let's see it you got to get the fight over the line new media when we had a choice to fight in America, there were two, actually two options for us. Jarrell Miller and Luis Ortiz. We went to Madison Square Garden, we went to Design, and we said, who would you rather? They say Jarrell Miller, right? We want an American, great, from Brooklyn, big mouth, great. So that's why. I feel sorry for him. He wants Wilder and yeah, Josh. I feel sorry for him because he's fighting, the people he's fighting are horrendous. Yeah, and he's, no one want to fight him. No, but his value is going down. Even your down, guy, Dillian down. White. Dillian White will fight. Dillian White, Dillian White not going to fight him. You know he didn't get off in the 2.6 million. Luis Ortiz fighting Christian Hammer and stinking the whole arena out. Who gives? Who cares about Luis Ortiz? <laughs> That's why they're doing a bad job for Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz value after the Wilder fight is going to the floor. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. Yeah.